Hey, what's going on? It's been a long time since we spoke. Maybe three, four days, something like that. But hey, if you're new to the channel, everything that you need to know about the channel is below. If you want to buy something, it's below every video. So with that, be sure to subscribe, leave a smart ass comment, and uh, share, share, share. All right, enough of that. In this business life, in this life life, there will be pain. I had a very interesting conversation with a client this morning, and we were just talking about some of the things that they're trying to avoid. No one wants to lose money, no one wants to have a bad day, and no one wants to suffer stale or negative growth. At that point, I said, look, you need to just go ahead and fire me because I can't promise you those things will not happen. And also, and I told her this story, and I'm going to tell you this story, of how I lost $50,000. This was, quote, an opportunity that came after the storage auction book. I was operating in good faith. And I want you to understand, when you go from industry to industry, there's a learning curve. And I knew this. The only thing is, I didn't have to start from the bottom, but I still had a lot to learn. And I got myself in this situation. I signed some papers, read them, had an attorney look at them. But we were operating on false information. So the things started going, things went well, and then all of a sudden I got this letter in the mail saying, hey, this, 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 we don't need you anymore, thanks for your service. And I went and looked at the contract, and essentially a certain chain of events were put into play to trigger some clauses. This was done intentionally. Uh, my attorney was like, well, we can sue. And I was like, you know what, let's walk away. Because I'm not going to spend 20, 30, 40 grand to get 50. It doesn't make any sense. Because it was very fuzzy. And I've dealt with loss and lawsuits and stuff. And, you know, every case is different. Don't believe like, well, this case went this way. This No, don't believe that shit. So I walked away. And I walked away with dignity. I didn't go screaming. I didn't get mad. I didn't lose my mind. And I was like, it's just business. That's what it was. So about 10 months after that, someone that was part of that team, who was no longer part of that team, reached out to me with an even juicier offer. And his exact words was, I loved how you handled that because you knew. You just, you, it, it's just so many people freak out and start doing stuff and accuse of stuff. And that's just how the industry works. So they didn't throw me a bone. Through me a whole steakhouse. So if I didn't go through that experience of losing $50,000, I would not have the knowledge I have about the industry, about how things work, how to prepare myself. Because the thing is, I've lost more. And this, this is what you know I'm trying to tell you. Because everyone is like, I, I can't lose any money. Or if I do this, the wife is going to hurt me. Or the husband's not going. I'm, you are going to lose at times, you are going to lose. You're going to lose money. You're going to lose sleep. You're going to lose time. You're going to lose. And the thing about that is, if you take the lessons, and this isn't about failing fast. It's about some of you are not going to lose as much as others. You're, you're just going to walk a better path. But when you lose, you, you can't lose your freaking mind. Because when you lose your mind, you start cutting off avenues of prosperity you start cutting off all kinds of stuff that you just can't see because you know after that deal went down and I looked at the paperwork and talked to the attorney and I was like I immediately began another project I just started working on something else I did not even take a full day I didn't even take an hour to feel sorry for myself because it doesn't help it really doesn't help so I was relaying the story and I was like because they, they're facing some challenges because of some decisions that were made five, six, seven, eight years ago. And this is one of the things, because if you're a member of Hustlers University or you're joining some of these new Udemy courses, you know that I'm moving in a different trajectory. Uh, actually, today, something else happened with a third party platform with someone who had permission to do something. And then they said, no, you can't do it anymore, player. So you need to close these two other accounts or we're going to get rid of all your accounts. And the person's word was, this is going to destroy my business. And 
you know, I'm, I'm, t I'm called crazy. I'm said you're a hater. There's people making a million dollars a day on eBay and all this other stuff. And I look at the pain of people. I look at the pain of people. I look at the number of people who come to me. I look at the number of comments. I look at the number of videos where people don't even know me who are saying the same thing. As we go forward, you will have to establish your own thing. If it's a blog, a YouTube channel, many people are like, well, YouTube is, well, actually, YouTube is looking at some changes, but they know that for them to keep getting all of these views, they have to have people who are going to do entertainment type videos. The vast majority of YouTube video views are entertainment, jokes, comedies, uh, songs. So those folks don't, you know, I'm going to use the very wrong English. They ain't got no money. So YouTube's not going to hit them over the head to have some money to use the platform. So that part's going to remain free and they're going to have an incredible amount of freedom to a degree. So YouTube, podcasting, blogs, e-commerce sites, your own, you have to have these things. And the reason I'm talking about pain is because they're painful. I just started another blog because, you know, I kind of figured out some stuff where I want to take this business. And I didn't start another one because I've had several. And it's the same thing. You start the blog, you go in, you put the plug in, you do this, you do this, you do this. And see, this is something that I've learned. And this is a very important lesson. I put this blog in play this week and I sent out an email to the email list. And, you know, this is the first time I'm talking about it here on YouTube. Once again, all links are below. If you go ahead and hit that first link, it'll, there's, it'll take you to sign up to the email list. Is a link. It'll take you straight to the blog. And I have a tribe now. You know, I have some really good people. I have a following. So it makes the things that I do totally different today. Here it was six years ago. Six years now. Six years you know, today than it was six years ago. It, it's a totally different groove. It's a totally different response. It just feels different because many of the things that you have to do for a blog are to get hyper traffic, you know, your, your, your layout, all this stuff to convert. I didn't do that. I mean, I just pulled, I didn't even use a fancy template. As time goes on, I am going to put up a better template, but I just got started because that's what I always tell you. Just get started because it doesn't matter how fancy the logo is. It, all that stuff, if you're not getting traffic, it doesn't matter. And there's a guy, and, I'm gonna you, and his name is Leo Batua, I think. Uh, Zen blog, Zen habits. Go to his blog. It is a white background and text. That's it. 300,000 hits a month. White background and text, nothing else. Very clean, very simple. So I, I look at Leo's blog and other blogs like that, and all the bells and whistles, sometimes they actually distract. So this blog I started, and it, it'll go through some changes. You'll see you'll go there, and it'll be this template, because I'll play around with it, because this is one of the things. You can start your blog, get traffic, play around with it, and grow it all at the same time. But because many people do not want to experience any pain, they're going to go out, get this beautiful blog, spend this money on this fancy logo, and put all their effort into it, and put up, you know, millions of blog posts and all this stuff, and it goes nowhere, and they're going to become despondent and discouraged. So, you're going to have pain on the front end, or you're going to have pain in the middle, or you're going to have pain on the back end. The pain in the front end is the learning curve, where you're going to look a little stupid, where you're going to learn, be unfamiliar, where you're going to deal with things that... You're not really sure of. You're just going to be a fish out of the water. One of, you know, I think you know, someone's like, well, what's one of your greatest strengths? I said, I don't care about looking like a fool. I've made plenty of mistakes. Most of my ideals suck ass. So I just create more ideals and I throw them out. And if you're on my email list, you're being tested all the time. There are some people, there's too many emails. If they send another email, I'm going to stab him in his eye. Um, I understand that you're stressed, but it's not that serious and also there's two sides of this coin and i've noticed something that's very very funny people who want to make money selling on ebay selling on amazon having their own website for some reason there's a certain group of people who just absolutely hate someone selling to them but they want to sell to other people now let's talk about this this is very important you can't have what you hate. So if you hate a really good sales pitch, you hate a really good 
sales effort, then more than likely you're not going to put that together and you're going to believe that myth that you're just going to grow your business to a billion dollars from word of mouth. Ain't happening in this environment, dude, or do that. It's not happening. There's too much noise out here. It's too much noise. You need advocates. You need people who are going to champion your cause. So you can't do that all oh, by your lonesome, just you on the dance floor and the crystal ball spins by itself and then you just see your lonely reflection. It can't do that. And that's one of the things. But you got to understand, whatever you do, there's going to be pain. There will be pain. There, there's going to be a lot of freaking pain. And once again, if you can go, hey, I'm hurt. Yeah, that, that, that hurt, right? But you stay level. You know, you, you might like kind of rock a little bit, but you never get punched out. Then you recover. Then you say, OK, well, when the environment moves the shoulder up like this, that means it's coming with that left hook or that right hook or whatever. So you now have feedback and information that you did not have before. But if you let your mind become clouded with despondency and you sleep in bed all day and you pull the covers over your head and you don't want to go out in the world and you stop doing the stuff that makes you happy, then you let life kick you in the ass and bitch slap you every morning. Every day that you don't get up and try again because it didn't work out is another day that you let life make you its bitch. That's what I'm saying. So either you're going to own life or life's going to own you. And I'm having this conversation because this is somewhat political but you know the price of gas has just gone down i mean i went to get gas and it was like a dollar differential that scared the shit out of me i did not go yeah cheap gas cheap no 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 there's something wrong here for a gas to plummet that fast during peak season it's winter the demand for heating oil is going up it's not going down for gas i mean that's just like okay demand goes up and the price plummets that's really not a good sign. That's really, really scary. And I know, you know, it's like, hey, you know, the fracking oil fields and all this other stuff. No, 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 no. For gas to drop that quick, there's either an artificial uh, manipulation of the market or demand, which what I believe is the real cause, is going down. We're at that place where just really, really slow to no growth. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of new jobs, but they don't pay shit. That's what no one's talking about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, all these jobs, they're seasonal. They're temporary jobs, and I'll guarantee you, you will see revisions in 2015 for some of these months when these seasonal positions go away, or what I call these low payment positions. You can't, you know, support a family on 10 bucks an hour. You can't. Not today. I mean, in 1991, I was making 11.50 an hour. 19 freaking 91. 11.50. <laughs> had a shift diff. On top of that. So you just got to understand there's some pain. There is uh, you having to learn new skills. There's you having to do different things and just really set your mind to we're going to make this better because we're going to make it better. It's not going to get better. It's not going to work itself out. We're going to work it out. And I'm having this because there's going to be many courses that I'm doing in Udemy. There's other things I'm doing, and I'm going to challenge the fuck out of you. And I'm just letting you know now, there will be some pain, because there will be pain before growth. So you must hurt a little bit before you grow a little bit. And if you keep putting off that painful situation, you're not going to grow. You're not going to grow. So definitely, when I talk this stuff, and I say these things to you, I go through it too. Because I was telling a friend... You know, when it happened, and he just looked at me and said, dude, I don't make 50000 a year. If I lost 50000 I might have to fucking kill somebody. And I was just like, well, you know, it just happened. That's business. That's what happens in business sometimes. And it just makes you a smarter business person. So just remember that. And if you have made it this freaking far to the video, I got a deal for you. Uh, some of the stuff that's going on this week, the art of making, uh, the art of selling online, that's dropping. And I got a special, special deal. I am doing the weekly coaching section. This is business coaching, hustle coaching. It's going to be a group, and there's a few people in the queue. And there'll be some more. Now, what it is, eh, what it is, it's 200 bucks a month, but it's a session four times a month. So every, every week, we're talking. 
And we're going to kick that off. And yes, I'm working during the holidays. I mean, okay. Understand, I know I got a different kind of lifestyle. And I know some of you need the full two weeks to recover from the fucked up year you had. But let's get real. If we're going to push forward, we got to push forward while, it's, while the iron is hot. So that's going on. So if you want that, that link's here. And I'm doing it a little differently. You can't get that link in the email. I'm not putting it in the email. I'm only putting it here in the video. Because I feel that folks who stay to the end are really interested in doing something different and making their lives better. So that's why that deal's only here. It's nowhere else. It's only here. See? That's how I'm doing things. Also, 50 Laws of Hustling will be a print book. That's another deal. So for whoever... And this is the special offer that I'm doing, and I'm going to say it straight. Whoever gets, bam, the business coaching, that's 200 bucks. I'm going to also, come in this, because this, I'm going to link all this stuff together. You'll, you'll see it. It'll be so sexy and shiny. You're going to get the business coaching. You're going to get the 50 Laws of House, which is a print book, which I'll send you a little drop. January 15th, January 20th. And I'm going to include a t-shirt that I have not designed yet. Yeah, you would be getting that t-shirt. And for whoever else is in the, the uh, business coaching group, is going to also get the t-shirt. So, you get the print copy and the t-shirt. And, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. You know what else I'm going to do? Since your second month, this is what I'm going to do on your second month. I'm going to give you the complete Gumroad catalog. So, you pay for your first month. And when I get your second month payment... I'm going to give you the complete Gumroad catalog, which is a lot of information. So sign up, instantly get your first Udemy course, 50 Laws of Hustling print book, t-shirt, I'm, I'm testing out designs, and your second month, the whole Gumroad catalog. How cool is that? How cool is that? So, and plus, I'm going to throw in some other bonuses for people who actually sign on the dotted line and say, hey, let's make this happen. All right, this is Glendon, and I will see you on the good side. Oh, don't let anyone know in the comments what's back here. And there's a reason for this, and we're going to talk about this in the art of selling online. There's a lot of stuff that I've learned these last six years. Uh, I've learned how to make money real fast. I learned how to make money real slow, and I've learned how to grow businesses. And growing a business is just the best way to go in the current market environment. I mean, serious, it's just the best way to go. All right, and now I will see you on the good side.